right now, right now, right now. And Hannah said in the book of First Samuel, verse eleven, the Bible said, and, said and, and Hannah vowed a vow and said, God, if you will give me a male son, I will give him back to you to serve you in your temple. Hallelujah. Let me tell you tonight, anything that you cannot give back to God, anything that you cannot give back to God, anything that you are going to hold back from God, you must make up your mind tonight and say, Lord, everything that you are going to give me tonight, the miracles that I'm going to receive, the breakthrough, the healings, Lord, I ascribe everything back to you. Hallelujah. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles everywhere. Shut up. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. I'm saying miracles everywhere, miracles everywhere. Shada bakare bolo shadele dele. Shada bakon sataria na bakon sataria. Ina no sataria bakon satada. Ambretila non da satarian no cosa Ina non satarian no cosa satara Ina non satarian no de la bossa di ara la bonda De la bossa satarian de reana De la bossa satarian de reana Hey satava cosa Ina la bossa satarian de reana la bossa Rica patarian da bossa Ninda cosa satarian da la bossa De para la cosa
Let's lift our hands and just begin to pray in tongues all over this place. Shabala kata prete kete bala da bash. Shata kapa da kata bala da bala kata sabra kete bosh. Sing, pray in the spirit. Outside, inside. Shabra kaka bala da bash. Go ahead, forget about who is by your side. You are alone with God. God will do wonders in this place tonight. Shata kata ba 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 kata la ba 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 ba. Rakata ba ka pros ka poto shata la ba. Mam prata kata ba ka shapra kata ba la da bosa. Mam prata kata ba koso ba. Don't watch anybody. Don't watch anybody. Just go ahead and pray in the spirit. The power of God is present. The power of God is present. Rakata la ka prata kata ba la da ba. Mam prata kata prata kata. Mam prosko prekete, em proto shekete lekata. Mam prakata la ba 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 ba. Leke prekete lekete 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 lekete. Em prakata ba 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 ba. Rekata prosko prekete, em prekete lebo proso prekete lekete lekete lekete. Mam prakata la ba kata prekete lekete lekete lekete. Leka baria la ba la 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 la. Leda la la ba saria la 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 la. Em prekete le ba la 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 la. Me prekete le kete le kete le ba kata pla galaba. Je kete le 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 bos. Me prekete le bos. Shakata ba kata pla kata me le le boko so pla kete me le le bos. Rakata pla kata da rabash. Rakata pla kata kata me le le boko so pla kete. Let the devil know you mean business tonight. Let powers know you mean business tonight. Tonight is not one of those services. Prakata prakata la ba koso prakata bala la ba. Mam prakata prakata kata prakata bala la bos. Mam prakata kata prakata bala la ba koso prakata bala la bos. Em prakata ba kata prakata la ba koso prakata bala la bos. Shakata da 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 bos. Prakata pro koso prakata bala la bos. Em prakata bala la ba kasa prakata bala la ba. Rakata prakata bala la bos. Prakata bala la bos. Emprekata tenebos, rakata ba 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 ba, makata prakata la kasa prakata, emprakata poshota, rebas kare basenda dara, eka poto sopra tasha la bo sabari alaba, mamba toka ba kasa kate, emprata kate ba kata ba la ba kasa ba, mamba kata ba 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 ba, rakata ba kasa kate, emprakata ba kata la ba kasa ba. Mam prakata ke, e proso pata Maria ta la raba shata, me ke prakata, me krata kata me kata, me kata ba 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 ba, me boko to proko to ba la raba kata, me krata ba, me ke prakata ke nos, e proto so prakata ba la raba. Kata ba la raba kata prakata ba la raba. Mam prakata ba la kata prakata ba la raba. Prakata prakata balada bakasa prakata balada bas. Prakata prakata balada bakasa prakata balada ros. Prakata bakata prakata. Prakata bata. Get angry in your spirit. Get determined in your spirit tonight. Prakata balada bas. Prakata balada bakasa prakata balada bas. Prakata ba 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 ba. Prakata ba 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 ba. Prakata 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 ba. Em prokoto bakapre. Prakata prokoto prakata balada bas. Rakata balada bas, don't be staring around at your neighbor. Go ahead and pray. Rakata balada bas, rakata. Rakata prosko paria bas. There's none of your business what your neighbor is doing. Rakata prosko sopa, e prosko bateke. Lem prakata leke prosa, e prosko bata. Rakata kate, rakata dama kata rakata. Mam prosko to prakate, rabo sho prakate balada bas. Meka prakate balada bas. Rakata prosko pato pasha, e proto soba daba rakata baladaba. Shata bakata baladaba kasa fray daba. Shata bakata prakata baladaba kadaba. Kaprata kata baladaba. Don't stop praying. Pray in the spirit.
The power of darkness must let your destiny go tonight. Something must break loose in your life tonight. Something must break loose in your family tonight. There must be a rain in your life tonight. There must be a revival in your life tonight. There must be a restoration in your life tonight. There must be an upgrade. You must enter a new level tonight. You must enter a new level tonight. Go ahead and pray in tongues. Lord, something must change. You must carry an anointing tonight. You must contact an unction tonight. That terminal disease must die tonight. That cancer must die tonight. That HIV must die tonight. That genotype must change tonight. That spell, that yoke of darkness, that curse, that activity of witchcraft must die tonight. Your heavens must open tonight. That closed heaven must open tonight. That closed heaven must open tonight. That marital door must open tonight. That financial door must open tonight. That door of opportunity must open. The Bible says, knock, knock, knock. He said the door will open. Knock, the door will open. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Like Jacob, something must lead me tonight. And something else must come upon me tonight. Men will say, is Saul also a prophet? No power in hell will stop the fire of the Holy Ghost. Rakata <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen to me. Sustainable, listen please. Sustainable liberty and freedom. Please listen to me. Sustainable liberty and freedom in the kingdom is a byproduct of revelation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not a matter of chance, it's not an issue of luck. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It takes the spirit of revelation to keep you in a position that you will remain there forever. Satan notwithstanding. It takes revelation. This is what the body of Christ does not have. Revelation. 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 When light, hear me, when light breaks open in your spirit, Concerning a dimension in the spirit, you will stand and sit in a seat of authority there forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Revelation. Insight into the mysteries, the keys, the operation of the kingdom. When you know how things work in the kingdom, then you will occupy a position that cannot be taken again forever. A position that you will be secured about hallelujah it takes an anointing there is something called the spirit of revelation hallelujah 
and we're going to be praying. Ephesians 1, from verse 17 to 19. Paul began to pray and said, For this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus. He says that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, illumination, accurate knowledge of the operation of the things of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I did a teaching some weeks ago, the walking knowledge of the word. Can I tell you something? Any knowledge you know that cannot improve the quality of your life and advance the kingdom of God is junk. Kick it out. It doesn't matter how, how powerful it is. Because the Bible says, ye shall know the truth. And if it is really the truth, it will set you free. Are you listening to me? Many of us have knowledge that puff up, but it's not consistent with the operation of the kingdom. It's time for you to begin to edit a lot of things. Don't let people fool you with. Listen, see, the apostle speaking said, we did not teach cunningly devised fables. In order, these things are not just grammar. They exist. They are not just cunningly devised fables. Philosophies of men that are nice. You have quoted them. You have done a lot of things. It's time to pray. Paul prayed and said, the spirit of revelation. He said that you may understand in all you're getting. Get understanding. Know how it works. Don't just know that it works. Know how it works. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. The kingdom of God is a system. It's a structure. You can learn its operation. It is this learning of the operation that is called revelation. Revelation is not just some spooky things about dimensions, about what color blue means in the spirit and what green means. If that thing is not improving your life and making you a man of power and grace, if it's not changing your territory and if it's not advancing the kingdom of God, kick it out. Many of us have knowledge that puffs us up, yet demons can stand, look you to the face and oppress you. The Bible says there, ever learning, ever learning, but never coming to the comprehension, epigenosco, the accurate understanding of the way spiritual things work. Ever learning, receiving, rema upon rema. Can I tell you something? There is a way. Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say, I am one of the many ways. I am the way. The principles of the kingdom can be known. You can know that you know them. The apostle says that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have, at what points did he handle it? He says such as I have, a man can know when he has something. Such as I have. And there is an anointing that opens the eyes of men are you hearing me if you go to a native doctor there is something he can do to your eyes and when others are looking you are seeing revelations 3 18 it says anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see there is an anointing that causes your eyes to see so that you will accurately understand the operation of things Anoint your eyes with alsa, And then you will see. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, it's not just for miracle service tonight. I want to receive things that I know how they came. So that I can reproduce the result again and again. If you are healed and you don't know how it's there. What if you go to a territory where there is no koinonia? We are raising ambassadors. What makes ambassador is knowledge and understanding. Revelation. That every time you are confronted with an issue, you understand what operation of the spirit has been designed. You are going to pray oh, inside and outside. When it's time to pray, pray.
because prayer is also a key in the kingdom he says is any man afflicted it is a let him sing praise and worship let him pray let him pray lift your voice and pray say lord anoint my eyes tonight i'm tired of guesswork in the spirit anoint my eyes tonight bring me into an accurate comprehension of the laws of the spirit the laws of the kingdom pray lord anoint my eyes this trouble that is going on in my family teach me how to solve that problem teach me so that any day i see that problem i know what to do he said the men of isaka they had an understanding of the times they knew what to do he said jesus himself knew what to do when you know what to do you will not just receive miracles you will become the miracle worker come on pray lord i need to know what to do concerning my finances i need to know what to do concerning my marriage i need to know what to do to keep the heavens open I need to know what to do to keep growing in the anointing I need to know what to do to accurately understand the world I need to know what to do to remain in health I need to know what to do the spirit of revelation hallelujah hallelujah listen to me let me tell you something that will surprise you look at me time does not change anything it is revelation that changes things are you hearing what i'm saying time does not have the ability to change things time only becomes useful if you incorporate it into the current revelation of what you are having Oh, one day I know God will do something. I know my God. Let me tell you something. If you know what to do, and it is time that is bringing it to manifest, then you can rejoice. But if you are not doing anything, and you are only hoping, you will wait forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will wait forever. 38 years, he was at Bethesda, the pool there. But within minutes, that man became whole. Is that true? You are going to pray and say, Lord, today I set the time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today, since time is not a factor in the spirit, that means this night is my own time. Lift your voice and pray. Give us this day, not tomorrow. Give us this day. Give us this day. Give us this day. That change of genotype. Lord, bring it tonight. That HIV virus. Let it die tonight. That joblessness. Let it die tonight. That upliftment in your ministry, let it come tonight. That apostolic fire, that prophetic fire, let it be tonight. That new level of grace and authority in the spirit, let it be tonight. Zinanda dianta, repata ta ta prega dianto, linga ta sta parianta, linga bodi anga boira, le sta dianto sedi dia. Alleluia. Sheda da 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 baka. Something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget in a long time i'm prophesying to you something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget 
in a long time. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Please sit down for a while. There are people standing outside. Please let there not be any vacant seat. If there is a vacant seat, call them in. There are people standing. God will bless you. Wherever you are, God will visit you. Please, let, let's not have any vacant seat. Please, ushers, let all the seats be filled. There's no reason why there should be vacant seats. Well, there are people standing outside. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome everyone to our August miracle service. We give God all the glory. Hallelujah. My prayer all the time is that you do not become too familiar with the things that God is doing because he's not always doing the same thing. Hallelujah. Let it not be like Jacob that the Lord was in this place. I want you to know that tremendous amount of prayer and spiritual preparation goes in for every meeting and much more the miracle service. Are you hearing me? God is not a joker. He will not bring you here to play jamboree with you. He said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. I know that there is a God and I know he will do wonders this night. Matthew chapter 4 very quickly. I welcome everyone. There's so many people coming from different places. Hallelujah. Salute you. I celebrate you. When I was coming in, I saw a number of men of God outside. God bless you. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Matthew 4. My spirit is fired up this night. Verse 23. Matthew 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people and his fame went throughout all syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases listen please diverse diseases and torments and those who were possessed or oppressed with demons and those who had epilepsy and those who had the palsy and he healed them and there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and beyond the Jordan there are many of us who have come from different parts of this city and different states in this country the Bible says when they all came to Jesus not to a man of God he healed them all. I want you to know that the Lord Jesus is in this place. Are you hearing me? The Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. And by the grace of God, God has given us an anointing. He says, Son of man, prophesy to the dry bones. When he prophesied, he didn't say, Hear ye the word of Ezekiel. He said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the one who sent me to prophesy. So tonight you will hear the word of the Lord. And faith comes by hearing. Listen to me please. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing. The hearing comes by the word of God. When you hear the word of God. You get up. And you take action. Until you have taken action. You have not taken any step of faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
Faith is just, it's not just about confession. Faith is about taking action. Every time you do not take action, it's a sign that you are still doubting. Is that true? Bishop Oedeko said, if it is truly the word of God, if it is faith, it will move you into action. If that word does not move you into action, hallelujah, then it means it was not faith. So you cannot move your leg and the word of God comes. You receive it. Prove that you have received it by taking action. And Peter held on to his hands and lifted him and the man leaping stood. His bones and ankles regained strength. Take away your eyes from whatever problems. Please, if you've not written your prayer request while you're sitting down, just write it quickly. We have to be very brief this night and be out of here. Praise the Lord. So I want you to believe that you are in the presence of the living God. God will not bring you to waste your time. Realize that it is within his ability to heal you. Do you believe that? It is within his ability to change your story. It's within his ability to anoint you. There are many of us who have stayed at certain levels of grace for a long time. It's time to move forward. The Bible says, ye have tarried around this mountain long enough. Turn ye not words. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you desire. The Bible says, and whatsoever things ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou will have it. So tonight, you are the one that knows the problem. Don't wait for your neighbor to receive for you. As the word of the Lord begins to come, don't wait until your case is called. The calling of the cases of people is just sign, a sign and a wonder. The Bible says Jesus was in the room teaching and the power of God was present to heal. Just like the glory and the power of God is present this night to heal, to deliver. There are many of you, you have been oppressed by all kinds of demonic spirits. You want to move forward. There are strongholds keeping you down. There are strongholds. Hear me please. Keeping many families down. You do everything you know to do. And there's no advancement. Everybody, every lady in the family, no marriage. Pretty lady, no marriage. It's not like you live the promiscuous life. That devil will bow this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you, no job. Everybody in your family. You went to school. Suffered for years. Nothing to show forth for it. Acts 10 38. He said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost. And with power. The Bible says he went about doing good. And healing. It didn't say those who were sick. Healing all day that were oppressed. Sickness is an oppression. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That terminal disease is an oppression. Tonight, don't give excuse for anything. It's not your sickness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not your HIV. Yes, you have medical reports. But whose report will you believe tonight? That's the question. Whose report will you believe? Whose report? Make up your mind. Some of you, they have concluded about you. As you are here right now, scattered in this crowd, inside and outside. There are many of you, everybody has concluded about you. They said, just forget this guy or forget this lady. The person is a useless person. But the Bible says there is hope for a tree, even if it be cut down. At the scent of water. Let me tell you something. Many of you, because of certain things you have done, like Samson, your hair has been cut. This is the place tonight that that hair will grow back. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. For though I fall, yet will I rise again. Are you listening to me? 
this is the place the bible says son of man what seest thou he said four horns these horns that have lifted up themselves so that no one will lift up his head in judah he said but i will send carpenters carpenters hallelujah there are many of you pronouncements and ordinances of wicked men have been decreed over your family that nothing good will come out of your life and nothing good will come out of your family the bible says who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the lord has not decreed it are you hearing what i'm saying there are many of us victims of all kinds of satanic assaults ordinances and covenants of darkness that have been entered and many of us are suffering things we have no idea of but the bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers tonight god will visit you are you hearing what i'm saying god will visit you there are some of you here you are tired struggling like my brother shared with all kinds of habits you're a man of god great woman of god but pornography will not live your life you have you have fasted you have prayed as you are fasting the devil is still mocking you hallelujah you are still fasting you are breaking the fast with sleeping with somebody you are it's not like you are bad that devil is a liar this night because the hand of the lord will be strong upon you are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you everything you lay your hands to do doesn't work it will keep working for others till it gets to your turn. Make sure as you are receiving tonight, hear me, every one of us is representing at least a family. Are you listening to me? He said, as for me and my house, they didn't call all of them one by one. Somebody stood in the gap. As for me, that terminal disease eating your father or your mother, it can bow this night. Because the Bible says, wherefore God has so highly exalted him. He said, and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, what will happen? How many knees? How many knees? Help me. How many knees? HIV, cancer. Every knee must bow. The knee that will not bow this night has not been created. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. Question where was the handwriting written there are handwritings ordinances of darkness nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age suddenly some things begin to happen some of you as you are sitting looking at me and hearing me outside you are being molested by all kinds of things you are sleeping in the night all kinds of devilish things oppressing you you are afraid nobody knows see this night let me tell you just humble yourself and open up your spirit are you hearing me keep your whatever it is and say lord do something in my life this night hallelujah demonic things the devil and his assaults joining the heads of people playing with people's destinies there are many of you you and your you know this you and your you are perpetually living under a close heaven but this is why the lord brought you tonight the name miracle service we would have called it worship service miracle service was given by god are you hearing me it was just it was not just a name that was formulated it's a miracle service and your faith your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of god kenny said something was it kenny or, or, or pastor jakes now that said something very powerful he said make sure that this night you are not watching other people some of you like watching other people some of you even came because of what you had some of you are critics you just came to verify a lot of things some of you came with a sincere desire some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said i'm going for koinonia i said oh, love does everything let me tell you something redefine your priority this night are you hearing what i'm saying 
some of you are coming as usual some of you are coming because you are workers he said he that cometh unto him must believe first that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him i came here with an open heart i began to tell the lord from home i said lord i'm the first person the bible says the husband man shall be the first partaker and so i told the lord before you begin to touch the people i'm not being selfish hallelujah don't stand watching people and say why are they praying like this why are they jumping like this and celebrating god you can get up we will share the grace and you will go back you will be watching this is this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one every time people are open say how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say god visit me you are carrying your dignified self and god will pass you and touch somebody and then at the end of it you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs testimony is coming and you say it's not true why is it that there are only specific people this thing is stage managed if you open up your heart that's what god told cain cain was complaining why abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving god said if you do what cain did will your sacrifice not be accepted participate in the meeting this night follow instructions diligently when they say lift up your hands and say amen don't say please this lifting up of hands this is the problem say my story must change this night say it from your heart my story must change this night say lord i know you are alive i know you are powerful i know you are able to visit my life visit the works of my hands visit my health visit my family and this night i place a demand by faith that i will truly receive can i tell you something if your heart is not open to receive it's better to go home you can do something meaningful with your time you can go and read the bible or do something else but i advise you this night don't be among the spectators if you don't have an expectation carefully think about it there's no crime not having one but get one so that you are not in confusion the bible said give us this day our it didn't say give us this day what we need that's too ambiguous give us when specific time specific need our what that's what he wanted daily bread so lord give me this day this change of genotype give me this day a change of results give me this day a story lift my head oh god let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family there are some of you like gideon you are your family is the least and you are the least in your family and you are busy hiding this night the lord is speaking to you what are you doing on the ground oh mighty man of valor do you not know who you are in christ redemption offers us an opportunity to rise and reign like kings are you hearing me he said awake thou that sleepest and christ will give you light awake as that reign of glory comes some of you what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace the grace you have is there but you have gotten to the limit of it there are certain dimensions hear me let me tell you something see grace is in levels the bible says he measured a thousand cubits is that true measured another thousand cubits those will open to you according to the degree of grace let me tell you the truth it's not everything that is possible for everybody are you hearing me i told you we are all equal in christ but we are not equal in grace the prophet's servant took the rod the same rod went and laid it on the dead body nothing happened is that true but the prophet came and did it see that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in christ but tonight jesus himself the bible says and if i be lifted up tonight we have exalted him with all the worship christ is lifted up 
you cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles and they bound Samson. some of us have been bound by limitations by mindsets the bible says but the hand of the lord came upon Samson, and that rope became like wax like wax many of you will shake out of some things this night some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion and people have forgotten about you but can i tell you something your enemies will call your name and you will answer you will say i'm alive i got into that dungeon but before then that shekinah of god that preserves men you will come out strong come out wise come out powerful come out full of grace and tell them i have a testimony i know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death but god who can take a man from a dung hill the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon tonight many of you will activate breakthroughs god will connect you let me tell you something listen to me the holy ghost gave me a revelation some time ago he said god is called the father of spirits have you ever known the meaning of that name that means every spirit is subject to him when the disciples came in luke in the book of luke they said they came rejoicing saying master even the demons were subject to us through thy name and jesus said do not just rejoice because the spirits so he's called the father are you listening to me the chief the captain above every spirit including the spirit of your destiny help us and so if the father of spirits moves he can move any spirit hear me the bible says nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night he got up by himself he said oh daniel has your god been able to save you may my god reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families the father of spirits every spirit listen herbalists understand this principle they can enter their coven there's what they call summoning the spirits of people is that true while they are sleeping they summon your spirit and the spirit of the person comes to the coven they are trying to mimic god god is the lion satan roars like the lion tonight god will summon the spirits of men let me tell you the truth and compel them to bless you hallelujah he said look up to abraham your father and unto sarah that bear thee for i called him out alone i blessed him and i increased him i called him alone this night is not you and your neighbor i know you are going out together just leave that thing for a while now are you hearing me it's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in new extension forget about that thing i know mother came with father Bro, forget about that thing and say lord i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open i will not let you go i will not let you go i'm provoking you to get angry tonight because what you are about to lift listen when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights before they lift it you see them shouting they are getting themselves angry well because when they are angry an ability they cannot explain comes this is what i'm doing to you when i fire your faith every unbelief that came with your situation i know you trekked from town to come here but can i tell you something god is able to change the story of a man tonight let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child let's see that demonic report that says you are fibroid and that you will be pregnant let me tell you the truth my bible tells me god opened the womb of leah 
God opened the womb of Rachel. It is God that opens a door that no devil can shut. And he can shut a door that no devil can open. Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, Behold, I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word. He said, Behold, I set before you, I set before you, Hallelujah. We had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God. Hallelujah. Someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State is the one that he designed for state governments, their websites. And he just called us. He said, Koinonia messages have been blessing him, opening him to dimensions in the spirit. He said he has been stepping into new levels in his career. And he said, please, I want to transport myself, foot my bill, lodge myself, and come and build a free website for the ministry. And I want to train the media team on how to maintain it, everything free of charge. How can you explain this? See, listen listen i don't say this thing see let me tell you something we tell testimonies because the testimony of jesus that means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the christ is a spirit of prophecy meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life hallelujah the testimony of jesus the spirit of prophecy don't sit down there and say can it happen you are seeing what god you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and it's not working in your life get angry this night get angry he said i and all the children that the lord has given me get angry when they saw the apostle they said he had been with jesus Let me tell you this night don't you ever hear me don't you just leave him leave him don't you ever are you hearing me try to make satan make you think there is no hope that language of there is no hope is of the devil some of you are outside hear my voice because there are many voices speaking there are some voices telling you you will never marry ladies hear me some are saying because you live the past life look at how it is in your house what is your business with what has happened to mr abc the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side is that true they fell near you he said another ten thousand by your right side he said none shall harm you some of you hear me this night i'm serious about this marriage thing we are going to break this devilish yoke some of you have been laughing about it if you don't take it serious this night you will be surprised you are just saying i'm fine i'm fine don't get up and deal with it this night the bible says the whole world lie in wickedness don't let cartoons fool you this world is not a playground are you hearing me so when it's time to receive make sure you receive And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of jesus 
he said destroy everything of the past tonight let me tell you something everything whether your mistakes whether your carelessness of the past the bible says remember not the former things how many of us are ready to receive tonight let me give you a few seconds right now i like you to think on the things you want god to do for you please don't be mechanical about this we are not doing jamboree this night think very well know what you want god to do if his husband say husband don't say a man if his wife say wife if his breakthrough say lord my heavens are short if his finances say finances if it's your ministry that is dying no growth say oh god measure a thousand cubits this night any area of your life terminal disease infections lump in your breast cancer whatever it is just believe god don't say we have been coming i came the last time i didn't receive master we have told all night they said he said nevertheless this night at thy world rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute exercise your spirit man outside i'm telling you i see a cloud outside a mighty cloud a mighty cloud the lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside god will do mighty things outside pray in one minute cry out your expectation to god go ahead forget about your neighbor talk to the lord say lord you know that you are my last hope this night you're my last hope in this place if you do not help me there is no help again if you do not save my family if you don't change our story then let it be that there is no god but i have no option again pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny pray enough is enough that yoke of bad luck pray christ has redeemed you by faith tonight you will enter into the experience christ has paid the price you don't need to pay it again but it takes faith to enforce that which christ has done the price has been paid it will not be paid this night that ultimate price yes lord just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying
Aleluya. I hail you, most high. Lift your hands, everybody, inside and outside. I truly hail you, most high. I hail you, most high. I truly hail, hail you. Hallelujah. Hear me. The power of God is present in this place mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me. Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness. Every curse. Every the power of God is already moving. Every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the holy ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now holy spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things i give you all the glory at the count of three hear me i confront gates i confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will bow at the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. That devil of darkness. Come out. Let God's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Make them for God take it. Make them for God take it. Bring them out. Let God to shut take it. Bring them out. Let God to shut take it. Every act of witchcraft, every act of divination, every act of sorcery, let God to shut it. Let the fire fall. I expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. 
no enchantment, no divination against Jacob shall stand. Surely they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of the Lord, this night they will scatter. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands again. Outside. Hallelujah. Hear me. Those of you outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. God is not done with you. Please, pick them and bring them. Many of it will be a mass deliverance. Are you hearing me? Just those outside. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Is the name above all names. Yokes are breaking. Spells are breaking. Yokes are breaking. Yokes are breaking. anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power it's the baptism of fire no devil will stand we're in the presence of the Lord Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, 
you will leave them complete deliverance no hiding let the word of god search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit there be no hiding place at the count of three under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more come out come out there's no hiding place come out there's fire upon every devil fire shake is the fire of the holy ghost there's no hiding place listen as this is happening to you i want you to know that this is happening in your family too are you hearing me This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah. Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns. This is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, oh, devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulsa, if you have Ulsa, lift your hands. Anybody? Ulsa, please, you're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now, we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands as I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. Now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You're a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Uh -uh, not where you're coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's kola not in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, altars. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle, um, maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers will verify them, will take one or two testimonies. 
the Lord is showing me who is Hanatu. Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Hanatu. You. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness. Spell and yokes of bondage. Let our family go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is not just delivering the family. God is anointing this young man. God will do mighty things. Take the anointing. You will become a mighty man of God. Mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Sister, this lady, come please. Quickly. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. I'm hearing the name Grace. Look at me. Who is Grace? I'm hearing the name Grace. Your friend? Your church member. We need to pray for Grace because death wants to take her life. Are you hearing me? Grace, that's, I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is helping me. But then the Lord is going to visit you in three things. See, listen to me. Number one, I, the Lord always shows me these things because I'm seeing marital issue. Are you married? Yes, you married? Do you know me? Have I met with you? The Lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside. Are you hearing me? But I'm seeing shadow. That's the only thing I'm seeing as your face in the spirit. There is no form, just shadow. But the Lord is going to set you free. Number two, who is doing a building project? Me. A building. Did you tell me this is the second thing God is going to do? Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? Yes, I do business. Are you sure? Don't just say yes. Or are you very sure? Shoes and bags. Okay. You are going to see an escalation in your business. Three th these three things. Hold my hands. Father, that yoke of bondage. I break her free from it right now. Ah, what is this thing that I'm seeing again? Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm not seeing a woman. I'm seeing a man. See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Your son name is Beatrice. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Please let's hurry up. Your son name is Beatrice. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there. Some of you feel like water in your ears. Just put your hands. Please, as you're receiving miracles, some of you, I'm not mentioning your case. Just walk out, Bishop Stan and Pastor Jakes are outside. Take the courage to walk out now. Go and drop your testimony. Hallelujah. We are going to take one or two of them. The ministers are at the back. Hallelujah. They are standing. Even if the miracle has started, they will perfect it. Look at me. Come. See. Brother, come. Where were you sitting? Outside. At the back. Hold on. What happened to you? What happened? What happened? That's the question. Holy vibrating man. See, the Lord Jesus, because even now God has not finished. One of the things God is calling you, it will be a time of preparation. 
what God is calling you. You're going to be a great teacher of the word. Are you hearing me? You will teach the word very prophetically. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Spirit of revelation. My God, I pray. The eye is the light of the body. Let something happen to this brother. Let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I impart upon you. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving a mighty impartation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go outside. God is visiting people. I'm seeing some, someone heal. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast is getting healed right now. Right now. The moment it is your case, celebrate God. Check it and go out. Celebrate it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is a outside. A lady is healed. Lump in the breast. Your right breast. Outside. There's healing going on right now. A lump in the breast. Outside. A lady is being healed. Lump in the breast is going. Hallelujah. Now, blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease please lift your hands quickly quickly please lift your hands want to rebuke that devil Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're lifting your hands, lift it because the power of God will come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, blood disease be healed. Be healed right now. Inside and outside, be healed. HIV virus, die now. In the name of Jesus, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir um this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord please as more miracles are happening don't just come out here to testify please now i want to pray for a woman you came you have pains it's, it's an elderly woman something i don't know if it's a growth or something please who is that please and please let's save time god is healing people right now and then i'm seeing watch this this part you're feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall your bone here come out you're a lady you're a lady god is showing me the lady is holding a baby this is what i'm seeing you are holding a baby whether it's your child who is that please holding a baby oh you are holding a baby where is the baby was she holding a baby because come open the flood gates of heaven where's where's the pain this is the baby this is the baby come madam you will be healed right now look at me you, you can see her limping who can see her limping can you see her limping can you see her limping madam hold my hands you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands on her which of them which of them where's the pain what happened just like that that devil will leave you right now because there is a name lord jesus thank you amen come match your legs go ahead go ahead match look at look at this look at this look at this is there any pain are you feeling any pain just a little go ahead just match in the name of jesus christ now check it walk walk and come walk and come jump look at look at this 
Give Jesus a shout of praise. Open the heavens. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? Lord is ministering to me. Just leave her. Five months, you are a lady here. You have not seen your period for five months. Five months, you have not seen your period. You've shared it with a few friends. Right now, this night, this night, I know there are lady ushers that will help you. Hallelujah. All kinds of menstrual issues, it will disappear. It will disappear right now. Open the floor gates of heaven. As soon as I pray for you, take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now. That yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes, is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. This brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. He actually had ulcer, and it translated into asthma. Hallelujah. And while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here, and it leaked to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like if you have as uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest chest pain. Hallelujah! But now I'm not feeling anything. It's just as cool as breathe, as breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead, breathe in and out, breathe in and out, in and out. Any problem? No Celebrate problem. Jesus. Hallelujah. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache, please check yourself. My grain headache, my grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache, thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning, your heart area here. Your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning, this thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this. You cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady. You're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floor gates. Mama, do, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is a official outside interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Make it down, Mama. Her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is C. The devil once is supposed to be from my head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now. She will, she's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please, we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are... Yes. The pains are gone? Yes. Press it. 
Anything? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jax are at the back. Mama, tell her. God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone, pain gone, come up. Tell her to come up and march. It's gone. It's gone. Look at this. It's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. How does she feel? Is this still is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at, look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You, you people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one Alsa song. Annie, give us one Alsa song. Alla mungo de makaya o bangi chikai kare kaisa yabo Alla mungo de makaya o bangi chikai kare kaisa Come on dance celebrate Jesus o bangi outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, rip pain. My heart, each and every moment when I wake up in the morning, it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now. Just a moment while I was standing right here, God just received a healing. I felt it just happened immediately. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Please, if you're healed, just walk right at the back. The Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside god is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it there's you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she? okay lay your hands there thank you jesus for your healing power gone check yourself See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please don't, don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? 
any pain. I'm still waiting for the lady. Someone, the, I think, the, did I say left or right now? Breast lump, breast lump is gone. It's gone. Check it. Don't, don't wait. Check, check and go outside. Pastor Jakes is there. They are busy verifying people's cases. Inside or outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, um, this is very interesting. There's a family here that has been suffering delay. And God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way. Wait, 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 wait. Listen. The power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks, sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit. It's a sign that this is what God is doing. Please, let's continue before the person comes out. You will come out, certainly. This is the word of the Lord. Now, I'm seeing a baby that is sick. You came with a baby that is sick. Please, who is the person? The baby cries in the night. Please, hurry up quickly. Because Pastor Jakes will still come up here. And Bishop Sam. Ah, whatever mountain will not, has not answered to, it will answer to you this night. Who is this? This is the baby that is sick. What's wrong with her? Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003, she was sick, so we took her to the hospital and we transfused her. After them, she was. One more person again, this same experience for one more person outside. One more person outside is going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delay in families the power of god will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed let's listen they transfused her and after what did they say is wrong with her the doctor confirmed that she has hiv with the transfusion of blood she has hiv that's what the doctor confirmed that what HIV positive. That devil is a liar. Come, my dear. Look at me. What's her name? How can a girl bear the name Favor and still have HIV? You see how demonic Satan is? The Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation. A lady, this is like Jabez, but tonight like the prayer of Jabez. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. Tester. She's free. The lady with the lump. Listen, how okay? How long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like two years. How long? Two years. Right now. It's gone. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying. Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed. You feel a pain. In fact, there used to be like a growth. Check it. It has disappeared. Check it right now. It has disappeared. Check it. It has disappeared. Check it. God is doing mighty miracles. Check it. It has disappeared. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing a woman. There are objects that move in your body. Serious objects. It moves sometimes to your legs. Sometimes to your chest. Hallelujah. Right now as I pray, you are going to be free and you find out that you are free. You are feeling light. Please, when that happens to you, go down. The ministers are seriously praying there. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, this demonic thing, this demonic thing, this demonic yoke of darkness, let it leave your body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Come, my sister. What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said, Grace, I was, my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just mock you. They run away. They do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. So when we are talking about marriage, look at another miracles are happening. Like I tell you, there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's something was moving in movement her in her body yes, exactly she's this is the person she movement she had an accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ yes, jesus Free, completely free. Give Jesus a big sister. I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Eh? Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm seeing? I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss it? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing chalk. Chalk, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. Now, please, 
if there is a woman here you've suffered barrenness or a man anything that you have not given but come out here quickly please quickly quickly bishop is still coming and jakes we have to hurry up there's a big deal that will happen here please come out quickly you you must be married though except if you are standing for somebody don't be emotional about it please please be looking at your neighbor if you are from the same place go back somebody has come to represent another person who have miracle children in this place look at look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying i mean some of them are standing in for their loved ones look at look at this look at this it looks like they're coming out to give offering but this is this is lack of lack of children you see the relevance of meetings like this listen to me who is standing for herself or for himself for yourself for yourself come here please quickly those who are standing for others this way for yourself look at me are you together she's your wife oh both of you are standing for yourself where's your husband he traveled i'm seeing a baby girl go and write it hallelujah can i pray for you hold my hands see let me tell you sister look at me you will come back here with your baby girl and testify you believe that lord confirm your word with power right now thank you jesus you are set free ah you're on his marriage why didn't you wait the guy just say okay no 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 don't see don't laugh it doesn't mean you should do it anyway but don't laugh it's coming out look at me you believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage here yeah? when when are you when is the wedding eh? hold my hands according to the time of life i speak to you under the unction of the spirit before the end of this month you will be in a very godly serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God father of spirits connect them you are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you. wow mighty miracles again are happening you too you for yourself lay your hands on your stomach Come, because I'm seeing something else what did the doctor say We shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, PID, we pray, whatever it is. And see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand, some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abi? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and it will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you and that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at. Sorry. I. This is bad. Viewers discretion. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. We are disciplined people. But just so that we we'll celebrate God. Check. No hole. Look at this. No hole. I can't see any hole here. There was your teeth was removed. Two teeth. Two teeth was removed. Who knows her? Who knows her? Is it true that the teeth was removed? Who is that? Yes. Yes. 
it's, it's true. You are sure of that? Her name is Dorcas. Look at, and the teeth has been filled supernaturally. Give Jesus a big, Hallelujah. big hand, big hand, big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are standing for any, see, if you are standing for anybody, when you go back, send the person a text and say, I just stood in for you now. Believe and receive. Are you hearing me? Send them a text. Don't let them roam around. You are here suffering to stand in for them. They are not connecting again. Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, and when Job prayed for his friends, God turned his own captivity. Job 42 verse 10 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Look at as many people. Lift your hands. Some of you, the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my god children the bible says are a heritage from the lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that jesus is alive right now i pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Return back rejoicing. Send them a text that they have been prayed for. And let me tell you, see, listen, hold on, hold on. There are some who take in but lose the child. Is that true? Lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in. They take in one month, two months, they just wake up. In the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you Pastor Jakes, Bishop Stan, please come. Please come. They'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes. Hallelujah. I know that there are areas that they'll minister to you. While that is happening, pass the prayer request, please. This is a time for God to visit your case. Please, as you are passing it, be praying in tongues. As you are passing it, be praying in tongues. Say, Lord, this is it. My time has come. If they didn't call you, your prayer point will call your case now. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Pastor Jake, so just minister by the grace of God and then Bishop Stan, sir. Please write your prayer request quickly.
Just go ahead, lift up your hands as I pray for you. Whatever you're trusting the Lord for, and Lord communicates to me for some of you, especially God will touch you. Hmm. God's going to be touching some of you, especially what you've desired from Him. Specifically, some of you, God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life. An unusual kind of anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido fine dangro sticky vantahi. Lingo supra tika tareboste. Randa kai. One of you, the anointing will be so heavy on your leg. Heavy, heavy. They will literally have to carry you out of this place. <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place. Blessing, blessing. God is blessing some people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessings, God is blessing you. Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. that person it's a is your pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having unusual stomach pains your pancreas i think pancreas should be in stomach right pancreas 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 that's why here pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having that problem right now i pray for you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i release healing let healing come to your body in the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You'll feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You'll feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us and I don't know there might be more than one uh, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream and when you're done eating that food you become heavy I don't mean physically spiritually let me clear this it's possible for God to do an impartation for you it's possible for God to do an impartation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go! Thank you, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I declare freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. He will minister to you. Who dropped this picture? What happened to the baby? It's dead. The baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal hallelujah praise the lord so as you're lifting up your hands make sure that you are making a commitment no sex before marriage don't let anybody deceive you i'm saying it straight to the point hallelujah no sex before marriage no caressing no all this nonsense that people do no don't don't open up yourself for demons you tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No, not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just, if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait, whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah i need to say this before i pray for you god is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with god and you've been involved in all these things i'm talking about stop it this night Stop it this night. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness. And Father, this night, I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community. I declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost
be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus and I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40 no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to be, this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Oh Jehovah Father of all spirits the great I am Mayida Subikro lays in Amakata Sata Lisa Pata Shekabara the one that divided the Red Sea Lika Zibrata Shetebara the one that released manna Paul released manna from heaven Jehovah in the name of your son Jesus Christ I pray for miracles 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 upon this prayer request miracles visitations miracles visitation far above far above all they have written far above far above connection completion perfections in the name of jesus completions perfections in the name of jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation jehovah jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of jesus in the name of jesus 
Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry. Mysteriously prosperous by the hand of God. I believe in prosperity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty. You cannot help the poor by being one of them. Are you hearing me? And I want to pray for you. Please believe. Lift your hands. See, listen. The irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing kingdom investments and your givings. They open the heaven and position you and then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom, the blessings of God upon your hands, strength and long life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage everybody. Please bring out a seed. I can't pray for you for prosperity just like that. Please. Please. This, if you don't have a revelation of what you are doing, just keep your seat, please. This is not so. I won't help you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to help you. It's not just about saying receive. No. Please. God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please. Please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my account. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity, God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out a seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. No, no. Make some of you, God is speaking to you right now. Some of you need to stand for your families. Honestly, honestly. See, if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed, it means we are fake. Something is wrong. Are you hearing me? I tell you, this, this prosperity oil, there is an oil. It will come upon some of you in a fearful way. Please, inside and outside, I beg you, if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me? Solomon, there was a sacrifice upon the altar. And Solomon said, oh God, oh God, attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond and the bible says the glory the shekinah of god came and filled that room. i'm praying i'm praying see i tell you it 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 pains my heart it pains we want you the full gospel you must represent the kingdom in its entirety we don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money no are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray. My God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire. It will fall on many of you. Please help me. My God, I pray. 
the oil of prosperity the power to get wealth at the count of three my god let it fall mightily right now one two three take it take it take it take it take it shake it, take it. Take it. Take it. I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your seed. I give your seed a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty. We take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12. He said, Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire, but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God. You know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray, my God, I give your seed a voice and I instruct it. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return back to the owner. I prophesy under this apostolic unction. I speak to your seed. Go around the earth. Gather your kind. Go round the earth. Gather your kind. Go round the earth. Gather your kind and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call, break tools. There are families that need major breakthroughs. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, your, the way from the day they gave birth to you, you have never celebrated entering a house that God gave your own family. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Every time they start a building project, rain will wash it or something satanic will happen. Breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, Thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. Thou shalt break forth. Please receive it. Some of you need to call your loved ones and say, Look, a prayer was prayed. There are some houses that have been built. Ten years. Ten years is a cost. It's a cause, I'm telling you. There are some people, they are, they are lecturers, but they are still begging for money to feed. This is, this is the yoke of bondage. There are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you, as you are looking at me now, you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family, as young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kobe State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night, this night, I speak, this night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across Abu. Are you hearing me? Altars of darkness will be destroyed. See, this is why God put centers like this. To legislate on behalf of territories. The apostolic grace is not for making mouth. It's for taking charge. It's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies. The church is the light of the world. The church cannot be here and things are happening. If your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer, I want you to lift your hands. We want to prophesy that oil of exemption. Hallelujah. It's terrible. People are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next. I pray for you. See, when the angel of death, hear me, when the angel of death came to Goshen and Egypt, the angel of death killed everybody. It's just that when he came, he found out that some houses were already killed. When he saw blood on their house, he said, these people are already died. And he passed by. I pray, that blood of sprinkling, that blood, he said, when I see the blood, Rabato Koparatata, not by accident, not by terrorism, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Every lecturer in APU and in all the institutions in this town, because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers. The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing that between now and December 4, I see four other professors going, but we stop it. We change it in the name of Jesus. We stop it. We change it. We stop it. We change it. We stop it. He said, the heaven of heavens. Mabatakata. Rakatapata. Betopotokotalabatika. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. But the earth has he given. Now let me pray for you. You, 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 you have no covenant with death. We are entering the ember months now. Hallelujah. Please, see, take seriously the things that happen here. Are you hearing me? Liva, it's the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe. Hear me, please. Now, and I don't want you to feel bad. I know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones who stood by you, but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for Satan and say he can ride into your family anytime. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every time death is ravaging people, God will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry. I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people, look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speak. It tells us that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. I want to speak on behalf of people. Lift your hands, please. Because many of us travel. There are some of us who are in business. 
you travel to Lagos, you travel to Kotono. Some of you are moving around. Some of you are coming from different places. My Dugu Rejoice, Bauchi. Come out of her now. Out. Out of her. Now. A very violent spirit. Lift your hands. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence. I declare that throughout this year, I have no covenant with the spirit of death. Say, death, hear my voice. I am an ambassador. And in the name of Jesus, the seal of the blood is upon me. I am protected. My family members are protected. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe your word. And I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in. Say in my going out and in my coming in. Therefore, I pray for you that as you have declared, let your eyes live to see the experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've not given your heart to Jesus, please remain standing. Everyone here, please remain standing. Hallelujah. You have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a family. This is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life. The Bible says whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Many of us have been struggling. You've been struggling. Some of you are born again. You've given your heart to the Lord truly. But there are encumbrances pushing you away from God. Right now, please everybody stand. I know you've been standing. Please stand for one last time. Inside and outside, let's honor God. And let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen. Young and old. Rich or poor. As you hear my voice, the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you and is going to tell you it is time. The Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing. I don't care what you have done. There is a home for you tonight. As everybody begins to appreciate them, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Everybody come out from outside. God bless you outside sister brother don't sit back people are coming thank you jesus thank you jesus don't sit back don't wait for somebody to come please keep clapping koinonia no devil will stop you god bless you sir god bless you they are coming please appreciate them don't sit back there are a lot of you outside god is speaking to you brothers God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank God for the harvest. Keep coming. Keep coming. The devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated. Keep coming. Keep coming, 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 keep coming. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.